Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we're diving into a common and super annoying issue that many of you might be encountering, especially if you've recently updated your root setup. We're talking about Zygus getting mysteriously disabled after installing the latest Lisposed 1.10 version on your rooted Android device. If your favorite modules suddenly stopped working, this video is definitely for you. So, let me walk you through exactly what's happening. As you can see, I'm currently rocking a OnePlus 6T running a custom ROM Curdroid based on the very latest Android 15, a fantastic daily driver, by the way. Now, when I initially installed the supposed 1.10 through Magisk, everything seemed perfectly fine. If we open up Magisk, you'll see my Zygisk is clearly enabled, all green lights indicating it's active and ready to go. You'd think everything was smooth sailing, right? But here's where the problem kicks in. After a routine restart of the device, which we often do after installing new modules or system tweaks, something unexpected happens. Let's go ahead and restart my phone right now. And just like that, after the reboot, if we hop back into Magisk Manager dot 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 boom, take a look. My Zygisk is automatically disabled. It's no longer enabled, and it's simply not working as it should. This is a surprisingly common compatibility issue that some devices or ROMs are experiencing specifically with the 1.10 version of Lisposed. But don't worry, there's a straightforward and effective fix. The solution is to revert to an older but incredibly stable version of Lisposed, version 1.9.3. Let's get this fixed for you. The process is quick and easy, uninstall current Lisposed. Now, you'll need the Lisposed 1.9.3 zip file. I've made it super convenient for you. You'll find direct download links for both Lisposed 1.9.3 and, for reference, 1.10 in the video description below. Once downloaded, go back to Magisk Manager. Tap on the Install from Storage option, then navigate to your Downloads folder and select the Lisposed 1.9.3 zip file. Magisk will flash the module. After Magisk finishes flashing, it will prompt you to reboot. Go ahead and do that now. Alright, the moment of truth. Your device has just restarted, let's immediately head back into Magisk Manager. And there it is, you can clearly see that Zygisk is now enabled and active once again. As you can see, it launches perfectly, showing your modules and indicating that Lisposed is fully functional. So, if you've been pulling your hair out wondering why Zygisk keeps getting disabled after updating to Lisposed 1.10, Remember that reverting to version 1.9.3 is a reliable fix that works on the vast majority of rooted Android devices. I hope this detailed guide helped you resolve your Zygisk issues. If it did, please show your support by hitting that LIK button, sharing this video with anyone else who might be facing similar problems. Thanks so much for watching this video.